My name is Brett Walker. I'm a major in the United States Army Reserves with a 362nd Mobile Public Affairs Detachment, and I'm also the Public Affairs Officer for New Hampshire State Parks. The great thing about New Hampshire State Parks is that it's living history. You can walk the steps where soldiers and sailors worked many years ago, and these guns protecting our coastlines. There are a bunch of uh, very rocky granite islands are off the coast. Um, they were also used during World War II as observation posts. We have a state park lighthouse out there, a beautiful lighthouse. Where you can take a you can take a boat ferry out there, and most of the time the only way to get really get out there is by uh, civilian craft or your own personal watercraft. But it doesn't look like it's very far, but it's 13 miles out there, and it can be a very rough ride on the Atlantic Ocean. Yeah, one of the hardest things with uh, locations like this, we don't have them fully manned all year round. So we, we rely on friends group and any kind of park staff, or even down to the public affairs officer. Just when you walk through, we like to take a look and just make sure that, you know, there's no damage being done. And, and there's nothing here that could hurt anybody also. That's important to us. Because you do get a lot of kids, they play around here, and it be, you know, becomes a jungle gym. We want them to have a good time. We also want to make sure nobody gets hurt, so. Checking on that and make sure that you know nobody's if any damage has been done to these old buildings. You can see all these cracks in the walls. This is all mineral and water moving through the cement. So, you know, how do you really? Uh, how do you really secure something like this and make sure it doesn't keep on pushing out? But it's beautiful to see, but it's, you know, it's undermining the, the integrity of the foundation of these gun emplacements. We have a uh, museum that we open up there in the summer, and it's got some, uh, it's got some actually some anti-aircraft guns in there that kids can sit on and they can, they can play on. So it's it's a great place for families to come and visit. Well, it's great to be able to find a, a use for what I did in the military and use it in the outside world. And it's also like serve, continuing to serve. I'm serving in a, serving the public just like I did in the military, and just in a different way.